Welcome to this video, my name is Yuka. I'm a vegan artist and today I'm going to repaint something that I found at the thrift shop. And whenever I go to a thrift shop I have one rule for myself and that is that I can bring home one item that I don't need. And maybe you recognize this and you see treasure in everything like me. Uh, you see something, you already know what you can do with it, make it into something else, repaint it. And what happens to me is that I don't get the time for it and I end up with a bunch of stuff filling my house that I don't have the time to do anything with. So that's why I have this rule for myself uh, that I can only bring one thing. So if you're curious what I bought, let's come with me. So this is the item that I brought with me. Um, the reason that I chose it is because the surface is quite rough so I was, I'm hoping that the paint that I'm going to put on it will stick on it really well. It, I just cleaned it and sanded it a little bit and yeah it's, it's nice that it is but it's a little bit chipped on some places and I thought it would be cool to paint on this. So I already made a sketch of what I want to do with it. So my idea is to, oh, it's stuck in the bedroom, is to paint a deer on the front of it, on the bottom, and then uh, make a bunch of leaves and like green uh, colors around it. So if someone puts flowers in it, the green will really complement the flowers, at least that is what I'm hoping, and then the deer will be here in front. Um, the reason that I chose a deer I just think it's the most magical animals that you can see in the wild. All animals are magical, of course, but especially the young male deers with the short antlers. I always, always love to see them. So I thought it would be fun to mix these two and put this design on his face. So let's go and start with the sketching.
background painting is almost finished. It's all, it always looks really weird in this stage in my style, so it looks really messy and yeah, like it's going to turn, <laughs> turn out nowhere. But hopefully once the patterns are on, most of the times then uh, it will come uh, to a hole. Uh, but in the meantime, when it's drying, I'm going to take a walk with Moshu and see if we can spot some actual deer in the forest. <laughs> So Moshe and I just got back, the paint is fully dried and let's go to my favorite part which is lining everything. I want to add some leaf gold on the top, on the bottom, and here in the symbol. Uh, I also need to figure out what it means. Hopefully it means something uh, cool. And I also want to do the flower in leaf gold. So I'm going to try that. I've never tried leaf gold on a vase. So yeah, let's see if it works. So it happens that my paint tubes make perfect <laughs> face holders. <laughs> so leaf gold comes in these sort of sheets. The ones I have is actually fake, so it's more like leaf metal. And I use it quite a lot. So I also have it here. 
the small bits that are left over. Um, maybe I can use them for this one, I'm not sure. So first you paint on some adhesive and this are the places that the leaf gold is actually going to stick. apply the leaf gold. I'm probably doing this totally the wrong way but <laughs> yeah, I just learned it myself so and I have this sort of weird brush and I just push it on there a little bit very gently so now it needs to dry again and then you can wipe the parts off and hopefully everything um, attached well. Sorry, I couldn't figure out the English word. I'm also going to do the symbols. So for this one, I'm going to use an entire sheet, so I can just slide it on top of the symbol. And I think I'll just try and push it with this sponge. That's the nice thing of leaf gold, it doesn't have a good or a bad side, you can use both sides. Probably the table will be leaf gold as well. Alright, I'm just going to leave it to dry for a couple of hours, um, it doesn't need to be so long but I just do that anyway and then we'll see if the result is anything good. So I'll see you in a couple of hours. So I removed all the excessive leaf gold. I'm just going to touch it up a little bit because here and there are some areas where there is no leaf gold or too much. I'm also going to paint a little bit around this flower. And yeah, then I'm going to varnish it and then it's time to show you the final results. So I'll see you, I think, tomorrow.
to like the finished result and the only thing I really want to know is what this symbol means and I really have no idea which language it is or yeah what it might be. I did try a website on my laptop in which you could draw the character with your mouse and it said something like big hands at least if it is a Chinese symbol I'm not sure and now I'm going to try a Google Translate app on my phone and see what it says that it is. I'm going to try a Japanese and a Chinese translation. So I'm just going to put it up and it scans the image. And it says in Japanese that it means something like large key. Or Daigo 1 and Daigo means something like Zen. And in Chinese it means something like Eldest Son. So yeah, I'm still not sure what it means. I do think that the symbols match best with um, the Chinese meaning of Daki, which means big, and then it says just another symbol. It sounds like this. Daki. So I'm absolutely not sure if that's the correct meaning. If you have any idea what this could mean, yeah, please leave a comment down below. I would really love to know uh, what the symbol means. And I really hope you liked this video. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, keep on loving animals, and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye.